Well, we launch it today and we will keep it online for the next three months until June. And if by June we don't have the numbers that we're looking for, we will may extend it for another three months. So we're going to do it three months at a time to give everybody a chance to really communicate their views about it. The thing about it is that not all of us can become a social worker. Not all of us can become a police officer. But all of us have a responsibility to protect our children. And one way of doing that is by participating in a research. This is your way of adding your voice to become a responsible citizen. So we invite everyone to go to the link, way, 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 P-O-R, strepe, C-S-A, dot org, and express your views, express your voice in your own space about the issue. Why an online project and not a personal project? And question for the people. That's a very good question. Online is easier, it's also cheaper, and you could reach many more people online. And to be able to go to people one by one, it requires a lot of human resources, which we don't have. And since everybody has a cell phone, yeah. it's very easy. You could just use your cell phone, go on the link, and do the survey. Compared to finding 20 people, 25 people to go door to door to do it, we'll never finish. So we want to use the technology that we have and to do it online. What will be the next step after the survey? After the survey, we will present the findings to the community. We will also engage the community in helping find solutions to improve um, the quality of lives of the children who have been abused and also the perpetrator. There is also the victim in the perpetrator. The adults who commit those crimes also need help. So we want to engage the community on what we can do to better the situation. So that is why we are also having focus group discussions as well. Not only the survey, but we want to go to every community and every group, every organization, and engage in that conversation so that together we could form the solutions. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, this research is being done in collaboration with the Social Crisis Plan. As you know, the plan is very extensive and it addresses all different types of abuse. So we work very closely with them so that we could give them the data so that they can use it to improve their services, improve their programs, especially the prevention programs.